Hello everyone and welcome to this video. How are you today? If the answer is confused, not so good, with problems uh, with friends and family, uh, from problems with work, then it's not weird at all, since we are in Mercury retrograde. Uh, it starts on May 10th and it will end in June 2nd. So uh, what's happening in the sky? <laughs> Mercury is a ruler of communication, learning, and travel. So when Mercury goes retrograde, which is uh, this optical illusion created, and it appears that in the sky, Mercury is going backwards instead of forward, then uh, all of these things that this planet rules start to get a little chaotic. So uh, communication, so this means any form of communication, like uh, talking, uh, directly with someone, uh, sending texts, messages, emails, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it's most likely to be um, to be a little bit off due to this Mercury passage. Also, um, with uh, travel, yeah, expect delays, 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 delays in any forms of uh, travel, even your day-to-day -day work commute or any kind of commute it can get tricky so maybe your bus isn't coming right on time and it makes you be late on work uh, all that kind of stuff is happening right now so here the key is to be patient because uh, now that we know what is happening and why it's happening we can be prepared and stop looking at it as if it's some kind of attack from the universe and uh, okay so more so and uh, for this precise uh, forecast Mercury entering retrograde in Gemini Gemini is the ruler of the desire to explore and this season is most likely to get us out of our comfort zones because um, Gemini has this duality so it always tries to select both sides of things and uh, maybe uh, exploring some things from our past we're going to find the other side of the of the coin and that's going to allow us to take a little um, risk and do um, other decisions about it now um, here's the good news <laughs> I'm going to give you right now a list of crystals that are going to help you with this season uh, the key is communication, communication, communication. And it is the thing that's uh, most likely to be server right now. So you have to prepare for it. Be extra patient and conscious about things <laughs> that are going to happen either way. So here is the first one. So first we have the rose quartz. Yeah, this is uh, most known as the crystal for love. And this is gonna help us to have compassionate talks. You know, talks uh, that come from the heart, actually, and not from uh, another point like uh, anger, because uh, there are a lot of misunderstandings happening right now. So you need to be compassionate when you talk uh, with the other person. And this is a crystal to go to for those kind of conversations. Here we have lapis lazuli. Um, in general, uh, blue crystals uh, help with communication because they relate to the throat chakra. Uh, lapis lazuli, uh, in a specific, it helps to speak with the truth and it helps with friendships. So if you want to have like a hard heart conversation and to uh, speak your truth with a friend that you're been having problems with or something, lapis lazuli is the crystal to go to. My brother, right? <laughs> Mine is super tiny, <laughs> but uh, it, I just want to uh, take this time to tell you that it really doesn't matter the size of your crystal um, because you can always harvest the energy within. So uh, you can make it stronger by visualizing it. Uh, what I do, for example, with these kind of stones that are kind of small, uh, I take them between my hands. I simply let the energy flow and I visualize how its energy just grows and grows and grows and when I am ready, I just uh, take it into myself. So uh, don't worry about the size of your crystals. But okay, so Labradorite, uh, this is a stone that helps you with your psychic powers, with your intuition and 
it helps you to see the truth behind any illusions that could be happening. So this is a great stone um, to let your words be led with wisdom and actually uh, seeing what's behind uh, of this season because uh, as I've been telling you, uh, it can put dampers and misunderstandings. So this is going to help you look through that. Now, satellite. This is a great stone to bring order to your mind. Be calm and there's or so. <laughs> uh, yeah, it helps you to actually um, serve through conflict because you're seeing everything objectively. So uh, you're not mixing your emotions uh, with everything else that's happening. So um, this is going to allow you to have conversations with the truth and speaking from an objective point of view. Now the smoky quartz. This is actually one of my favorite stones. I have it uh, here, but I also have like a travel edition um, smoky quartz because uh, it's great for uh, removing blockages. And in this season, uh, it removes like self doubt. Uh, this season is going to uh, bring you a lot of stuff from the past that may bring self doubt into you. So this stone is actually going to help you a lot to see right through it and to understand that um, it, it's all an illusion. So uh, I actually had a dream last night that I really needed to use the smoky quartz and when I looked into the forecast and everything I realized ah oh, this is why I was actually having self-doubts about uh, this channel <laughs> and if uh, people would like it or not. So I used this stone I was like I really need to help people to go through these things uh, because maybe they don't know I I'm lucky I have this knowledge so I knew how to survive <laughs> in a sense uh, this kind of doubts that were within me and uh, I bring them back to you if you have smoky quartz use it uh, I meditate with it I just usually take it into my hand or sometimes I lay down and I use it uh, depending on where the blockage is, uh, maybe in in your heart or in your mind. Mine was in mind, so I really put it here where the third um, the third eye chakra is, and um, I just allow it to give me its energy, so I can dissolve that self doubt and blockages. So blue lace agate, agate. I, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but anyways, I'm gonna leave you in the description. Uh, all the names of the crystals so you can uh, look them up but um, this is of course one of our blue stones uh, related with the throat chakra so it's for making our voices heard and especially the blue lace agate what it does is it helps you reduce your stress levels so you can actually communicate from a calm point of view And last but not least is the clear quartz. Um, this is actually your wild card for anything you want to do. If it's spell, a ritual, meditation, uh, you can do most of it with a clear quartz. You only have to envision uh, the intention you want to give it. Uh, you have to cleanse it and make the manifestation this way. So. Uh, let's say for example for this Mercury retrograde season I actually want to intend this crystal um, with clear communication through uh, with my friends family and boyfriend okay um, you do kind of the same thing uh, from uh, when you are expanding the energy so you take it into your hands you see the intent you want to give it close your eyes focus and feel how how it feels with the new energy. You can also charge it uh, in the sunlight or the moonlight depending on what you want, it, what you want to do. And now um, to close this, I actually want to know if there's a message. Well, of course there's a message. I want to tell you, <laughs> see this miscommunication things. I'm not even gonna record it again because I mean, Mercury retrograde is here 
and I probably would be driven crazy if I had to cut <laughs> every time something like this happens and it's just also to show you like this is happening this is how these things go I wouldn't be surprised if this video just took like two days to upload just because of the energy that's happening so that's why I'm leaving these mistakes here so you can know this is all uh, truthful this is all happening this happens to all of us so you can relate to uh, I'm going to use uh, my starseed oracle I love this it has amazing artwork you're gonna see in about a second so I'm gonna ask uh, what's the message that they have for us how to survive this mercury retrograde season oh, okay oh the golden children So what uh, um, this card means, uh, the golden children are children of the sun. Uh, it's referring to people, um, I, I don't even want to say people, because <laughs> uh, there are souls that come here to the earth and don't really feel like home, simply because they don't belong and it's okay. Uh, so human life can be sometimes hard. Uh, and this card is calling to nourish a new project a new beginning uh be be wary of this uh i mean if it's something that's certain and that it's calling you go ahead and do it but i wouldn't like sign anything like contract wise or um make any long-term commitments right now just because of the energy just um think about it <laughs> and once this is all over like june third june fourth if you're still convinced go for it um well yeah uh revise all the creative projects you have in mind uh nurture them and this is also a call to treat yourself gently uh like you would treat a child so imagine like you're treating yourself you're uh holding your inner child so do the things that you like uh meditate take a long bath uh relax don't feel guilty at all if all you want to do when you get home is just to get into bed and watch a show on Netflix, have a bottle of wine. Yeah, uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, listen to your favorite music, uh, eat your favorite food, and don't feel guilty at all for doing this because you're treating yourself with love and that's exactly what you need for this season. So uh, I hope this video actually helps you a lot. Uh, if you have any doubts, please let me know in the comments. I always answer them. Uh, also check out all the links that I have down in the description box because there's a lot of stuff happening uh, there's an eclipse coming and if you want to survive it I have a special event uh, it's free and uh, check in and register and thank you very much <laughs>